Greenville's economic development team is starting to make progress on revitalizing neighborhoods north of the Char River. WNCT's Brandon Goldner updates us on the latest. Brandon. Ken, we started looking into this topic after some of you complained on our Facebook page about the city not paying attention to areas north of the river. Got water that's, uh, where the when Hurricane Floyd hit Greenville in September 1999, <laughs> neighborhoods north of the Tar River were underwater. Since then, <laughs> the water's dried up. So is business. After the flood hit, it's like this area was abandoned. No one paid much attention to it. Councilwoman Candy Smith now wants the city's economic development team to pay attention after expressing frustration during a planning retreat about this list of projects. There's no pharmacy north of the river. Plans for the city to attract one were at the bottom of this list. It's like symbolism, and I don't want it to be seen that way. I, I want people to see that we're concerned about this area. Economic Development Liaison Christian Lockamy says since that meeting, they're now paying more attention. He says the city's working with the company Electricities to study who shops in Greenville and what their shopping needs are. He says this will determine what stores they can attract to the area. North of the river, had, in my opinion, has a lot of potential to be sort of a, you know, a, a really a resident or commercial hub. Especially for people living in towns further north, like Bethel and Belvoir, who come to the city to shop. Councilwoman Smith says she's happy with this progress. If we bring retail, what else follows retail? Everything else. Including attention, not from a natural disaster, but from positive growth. And the city would have to pay for that study with electric cities. The council will have to decide whether to start paying now or wait until next year's budget. Brandon Goldner, nine on your side.